I started the IPv6 forum back in 1999 when the IPv6 task force at the ITF has released the drafts of the IPv6 uh, RFC 2460. It was back in December 98. And at that time, that group had to be dissolved because the work had been finished. So the best way to continue the work is to start the IPv6 forum in order to disseminate and promote IPv6 deployment around the world. We knew that the address space uh, back in 92 was going to be depleted fast because the internet was opened in 91 by Al Gore. He basically opened the NSF net, which became the first internet. And at that time, uh, we already knew that the IPv4 address space was depleted by uh, 40%. So the call for a new protocol was made by the ITF uh, with an RFC. Then many proposals have been made. So basically V6, V7, V8 and V9. And after five years of work, V6 was selected. And then we started promoting the IPv6. And the first killer application was basically 3G. After 10 years, the IPv4 address space was depleted back in 2011, as a matter of fact, on the 2nd of February 2011. And since uh, that time, we have run out of central address space. But uh, the registries and the ISP still has some, so they could still use it up to now. But in the meantime, uh, we have deployed now IPv6 worldwide. About 45% of the world are using it without knowing it, and that's the purpose of it. We have the major organizations and the major ISPs and also some government now are pushing for an IPv6 only by 2025. Primarily the US government, so the US government networks, they would like to achieve something like 80% IPv6 only by 2025. After the first inflection point with 3G, 4G, 5G, blockchain is the next biggest one. Basically blockchain is designed for IPv6, even people didn't know that. From the start, it's an end-to-end -end solution. Uh, there are not many end-to-end uh, -end solution on this planet. So some people will think, you know, it's a peer-to-peer -peer application. This is beyond peer-to-peer -peer application. Uh, so by using the address space as a source and destination, you have the best model of the internet. This is how the internet has started as an end-to-end -end model. And we have uh, basically the telecom world made it as a telecom internet by using network address translation, so disrupting the end-to-end -end model. Uh, IPv6 has restored it. Uh, exactly for an application like blockchain because it needs the end-to-end -end model. So you can do better job than just as an application. You can do it by using the end-to-end -end model in this case, using the IPv6 address uh, on both sides so you can route between the two of them and you don't need anybody in between to tell you what you're doing. Blockchain will add fundamental uh, approach how the internet should be functioning also by making a small amounts, a very tiny amounts which can accumulate for many people that are doing transactions over the internet. So payment was not included in the internet at the beginning. And I think blockchain with BSV is kind of restoring what did not happen on the internet at the beginning. But we will have a lot of work to do in order to educate and to get best practices and push the right messages uh, to governments, to regulators, to the ISPs and industry because blockchain is not one single solution so you've got so many competing solutions today and everyone is claiming victory and so on. There is a bit of chaos in this area and we would like to support only uh, the one that is going to be the winner with IPv6. Uh, and I think the BSV blockchain is a good one. BSV association is very important you know, to get uh, the education out there. We have to explain what is BSV and what is blockchain uh, along uh, our common terms. Uh, because, uh, as I mentioned earlier on, there's a lot of education because the confusion has already happened. So we have to detach uh, BSV blockchain from all the crypto stuff and so on and so forth. We don't want to be uh, supporting a kind of royal casino uh, for the entire planet. That's not the purpose of this uh, work. We want to get uh, everyone to be involved.